Hi, and welcome to our 91st test and measurement video. Today's topic is networking the Tektronix MDO 3000 oscilloscope with a MacBook Pro computer. There is more than one way to connect an oscilloscope to a computer. Visa, an industry-wide application, consists of drivers that can be downloaded into the computer so that the oscilloscope can communicate with it. It is optimized for Tektronix equipment taking the form of Tech Visa. The drivers are used in conjunction with Microsoft Excel, National Instruments Lab View, Tektronix Open Choice Desktop Software, or a user-created program. Another way to connect a Tektronix oscilloscope to a computer is by means of eScope, a Tektronix proprietary method for creating a local area network, or LAN. This permits the user to access the oscilloscope's built-in LXI web interface in any computer that has an internet connection and an internal browser. It works for both PC and Mac. The oscilloscope is connected via CAT5E or similar cable to the internet provider supplied network modem. Just plug the two ends of the cable into appropriate ethernet ports in the oscilloscope and in the modem. The oscilloscope provides all the information you need to create the working network. Then the computer can show the oscilloscope display and actually command the oscilloscope to perform actions. To establish the connection between the two instruments, first download the Visa drivers into the computer. Then download Open Choice Desktop or a similar application. After the instruments have been cabled, press the Utility button and proceed to Utility Page. Select I.O. by turning Multipurpose knob A. Then press Ethernet LXI. In the vertical menu on the right, check the top menu item to determine the LAN status. Green denotes good. Press LAN settings to display the currently configured network parameters. Press test connection to determine that the oscilloscope has acquired a network connection. Press more, two of two, to establish or change your password if desired. The computer should be on and the browser open. In the address bar, type in the IP address of the oscilloscope. This is available in Utility Page, Ethernet, and LXI. Make sure that More is toggled to one of two. With the IP address for the oscilloscope displayed in the address bar, press Return Enter. The oscilloscope's welcome page appears. Bookmark it for easy access in the future. Click on Instrument Control. In the oscilloscope, if AFG is turned on and cabled to channel 1, which is also turned on, any of the waveforms can be selected and displayed in both the oscilloscope and the computer. Here we have selected sine wave. Notice as we scroll to different waveforms, they appear in the computer as well. The displays on the oscilloscope and computer screens correspond. At the bottom of the computer screen, are some clickable tabs that correspond to controls in the oscilloscope front panel. The interesting thing is that the oscilloscope can be controlled from the computer. For example, press measure in the horizontal controls at the bottom of the computer display. In the horizontal menu, press add measurement and remove measurement. 
These actions in either the oscilloscope or the computer have the same effect on both displays. To see an example, press waveform histograms, more, one of two, and in the vertical menu, turn waveform histograms off. The associated soft key toggles among off, vertical, and horizontal. The computer is operating the oscilloscope controls. At the bottom of the computer display, click on Measure. Then use multipurpose up and down triangles to select between frequency and off. The large triangle navigates from the first item to the last item in the AFG menu. The medium triangle takes you to the midpoint in the list. The small triangle does single steps. Another completely different way to connect an oscilloscope to your computer also uses Visa. This does not depend upon a web-based LAN, as in the eScope implementation, although it is possible to configure an optional internet connection. The two instruments are directly connected through USB or Ethernet, with no connection to the modem, unless desired.